Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Botanicula. Um, last time we found one of the kids, uh, so we're still searching for the other two. Actually, we just came across one, but he walked right into the mouth of this uh, thing that looks, frankly, like a potato. This pig thing. Um, actually, let's go up here. Let's see if anything is useful up here. We saw the uh, them eating, I think, earlier. Or maybe we didn't. I don't remember. Let's uh, feed them a little bit. Oh, they're eating. Okay. Oh, they're hungry. They just wake up, eat, and go to sleep. A very meaningful existence, these guys, you know? Uh, well, it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe we can click on him and have him spit it out at us or something. Come on. Ah, okay. And he's not covered in slime or drool or anything like that, so it's our lucky day. Excellent! Okay. Well, we haven't gone left yet past these guys. What's over here? Oh, another message from Grandpa. Let's see if he has anything else to say this time. Okay, the spider is eating the trees. We already know that he's doing that. And he's getting bigger and scarier and worse and... yeah. Thank you for telling us what we have already discovered. No disrespect, Grandpa, but we already knew that. So let's, uh, let's head back. There doesn't seem to be anything else in this direction. Uh, we still need one more kid. Um, and if I remember correctly, the only path we haven't gone through yet is that spider. Uh, let's see if we can get past him. He was all the way to the right. Over this way, over this way. Um, I should mention that one of the joys of this game, you can't really, uh, tell from the way I'm playing it right now, but... One of the joys in this game is sort of getting lost in which direction to go because the sights and sounds of this game are so great and so beautiful. Um, it's one of those games where getting lost is actually not as, frustrated, as, as frustrating as it is in other games because the solutions aren't too complicated and the game just looks so darn good. So um, let's see if we can use, we, we can feed it to him or something. Oh, we're gonna cut him loose, it looks like. Nice. Alright. Yeah, walk back to your, your mother. Your mother crab thing that looks nothing like you. Uh, okay, we can continue going. Oh, there's the last kid. Get over here. Oh. He got buried beneath uh, what appears to be a big herd of sheep. <laughs> okay. You click on the sheep and you move the mouse to launch them off the branch. To a safe place, I'm sure. I'm not launching them to their death. As badly as I want to say that. These are perfectly okay sheep. They don't die. Everything in this game is happy. I say as I murder these sheep. Alright. Come on, kid. Come over here. Yes! We now have all three kids, so we can head back to the mother. Again, I'm assuming it's the mom. Could also be a dad. But we'll just call it mom. Maybe she will help us in some way. Give us a reward. Uh, what do you have? I mean, we're doing it to be nice anyway. We're not doing it just for the reward. But seriously, if you could help us out, that'd be great. Okay. Yay, we're going in a, a shoot. Where are we going? Oh, uh, where are we? Okay. Hello, happy little guy. 
All right, looks like Mr. Lantern's recounting his story. And there looks to be some kind of rubber chicken looking thing that runs in a wheel. Uh, and there are a bunch of them, and there's a chute that takes off. That's what I'm gathering from this presentation anyway. Uh, okay. So it looks like there are 14 wheels all connected to the center gear. And there are 14 chickens, so it looks like we have to find 14 chickens to power up this thing and fly away. At least that's what I gathered from that. Okay. I don't know who's hiding these chickens or why. Actually, I know why you'd hide a chicken, so you can eat it, of course. But uh, let's see if we can find these 14 chickens. All right. So we're about halfway through Botanicula. Um, right now we're in a village with a bunch of these happy little critters. Uh, there are, if I remember correctly, 17 buildings, maybe 16 buildings here. And this area involves a lot of backtracking, going back and forth, and figuring out just how to get these darn chickens. Um... Well, I guess we might as well start in the closest building. What's over here? Okay, it's a area with three horns on the right, which we can click on, and a bunch of horns on the left. Let's click on a horn, the top one. Uh, okay, let's click on the middle one, I guess. That doesn't look right. Let's click on the bottom one. Uh, no. That looks to have the head and legs of a frog, but the body of a chicken. Uh, that's not what we want. Maybe we can um, try again. Let's try the middle one. Um, okay, we have a head of a chicken. That's good. Let's click the bottom one. Head of a, or body of a chicken. That's good. Uh, the top one, I guess. Mm, no, that's not legs. Shoot. Well, uh, let's start with the bottom one, I guess. Uh, head of a snail, it looks like. Let's get the bottom one again. Body of a snail, I guess. Bottom one again. Well, that's a complete snail. Uh, we got a little creature card for it. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for a chicken. How do we get this chicken, though? Um, well, actually, it seems random, but there actually is a pattern to this puzzle. Uh, what you have to do is click the bottom one twice. Actually, you can only really find this out by experimentation, otherwise you'll be clicking endlessly and not figure out what the heck to do. Uh, you have to click the bottom one twice. Right there, right there. Um, anytime you start by clicking the bottom two twice, it's always going to be the same creature for the head and the body. It's ra that part's randomized, so sometimes you'll click on it, it'll be the head of a frog, then the body of a frog. Uh, this time looks like we've gotten lucky and we have the head of a chicken and the body of a chicken. Um, and if I remember correctly, you next hit the middle one. There we go. There we go. There's chicken number one. And uh, the little display in the top left shows how many left we have to get, not how many you've gotten so far. So we have 13 left to go. Uh, and it looks like we've done everything in this building, so let's get out of here. Okay, let's click on the next closest one, this little tiny building here. Okay. This little guy is floating. He appears to be meditating or something. And we have a bunch of dirt piles... Uh, maybe it's soil, I'm not sure. Let's try clicking on them. Alright, we have a little tree. Let's click on that one. Another tree. Uh, okay, let's click on the rest of them, see what happens. There we go, we all have trees. And we have a bunch of bees coming in to, uh, help build things. A little beehive there. Uh, okay, got another card. 
Oh, look at all the cards we've collected so far. We have a ton. And uh, like I said earlier, you just get these naturally throughout the game just by clicking on a bunch of stuff. And uh, they're just kind of fun to look at. If you ever get bored or stuck in this game, this will this will cheer you up. But we're not going to get stuck in this Let's Play because I know what to do. Uh, apparently we have other things growing on these trees. Let's try clicking on those. We have a little hot air balloon. I'm just clicking on all of them right now at the same time. Oh nice, we have uh, fireworks. Let's click on those again. While those fireworks are going on, we have this little thing happening on the top left here. This There seems to be a guy wearing a red hat. And he's going to get in this balloon, I guess? Oh man, I have no idea what's going on. Something must happen from all this. Maybe there's a chicken here somewhere. Alright, he appears to be standing on a little mountain. Okay, he turned into this, uh, I don't know what this is, but we can click on it. And we just got it in our inventory. Huh, okay, well, that can't hurt. This isn't one of those games where you're burdened with a million things in your inventory. Thankfully, so, uh, maybe that'll be useful pretty soon. Let's head on out. Uh, okay, let's check out this next building on the left here. Huh. It looks like a big, dark area with nothing we can click on right now. Uh, there appear to be a bunch of creatures in the dark blinking. And some kind of white balloon thing right next to us. Uh, we can't do anything here right now, so let's head on back. And let's head to the next building. Oh look, we have a chicken on the top left. And there appear to be a bunch of different objects pinned to the wall that were framed. Okay. Maybe this guy's an artist. Let's try talking to him. <laughs> oh, he's looking for that thing we just got. Uh, okay. Here, here you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's letting us have the chicken. Thank you, dude. I don't know what you wanted for that. I guess... Oh, it's just a piece of art. Nothing wrong with that. Let's try clicking on these paintings. Can anything happen? We can move them left and right. We can't take them. Okay, let's... Uh, what's going on here? Oh, something fell out. What is this? Uh, that looks like a... Some kind of disc or a coin with a one on it. Maybe it's a little piece of money. Who knows? Well, let's get out of here. Let's keep on going. Uh, well, we're actually out of time for this video, so we're going to continue exploring this village next time on Let's Play Botanicula. Thanks for watching, everyone.